it's very exciting. You're traveling around with uh, uh, Monty Python on Holy Grail, a personal favorite of mine. And uh, so people love this movie now. It was yes. not a joy to make, though. Is that, is that oh, accurate? It was miserable. Yeah. It was Scotland in uh, April. And the weather in Scotland is really bad, except for two weeks in September. Yeah. And we were just miserable. We were wet. We got on the mountainside with that strange uh, chain mail with knitted str uh, string. And, and, and after about 10 minutes, it would start to rain. And we could afford about three umbrellas. I mean, the film was made for four hundred thousand dollars. It's crazy. Well, crazy. I mean, it, the interesting thing is, it it looks beautiful because yeah. Scotland looks old, <laughs> so yes. it looks accurate to what you were doing. <laughs> and the castle, we were only allowed to uh, film in this one castle, Dune Castle, and we tried to film everywhere else. They said, "Oh no, no, you can't have comedy here." There's real history here. You can't have comedy. It is now a tourist spot. Really? The Dune, actual Dune Monty Castle, Python? The actual yeah. Monty Python attracts tourists from all, so all over the world. And you did have to come up with some inventive things that people probably credited as comedy writing, but were actually done out of necessity for your budget. Uh, like the actual coconuts for the horses. Yeah. You guys couldn't afford horses. Is that no, true? No, that, that's. <laughs> That is why Michael Palin, bless him, came up with the idea of the coconuts, That's you see. That's so funny. You know, it is that necessity is the mother of invention. <laughs> and sometimes when you don't have much and you, know, you have to improvise, that's sometimes when the very best ideas come through. Did you ever... So, Money Python, you made that for 400000 That was your first one of your movies, yes. yes? Did they start giving you more money for their other movies, or, or were they always shoestring? Well, then, uh, after that, we did Life of Brian. Mm -hmm. And this is extraordinary. Yeah, please. Thank you. This, this is an extraordinary story. We couldn't get anyone to give us two million pounds to make Life of Brian. You know, it took a fortune. Yeah. We couldn't get anyone. And we went around England, and then we came to the studios here in Hollywood and, 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 and New York, and nobody was prepared to put the money up. Was it because they didn't... Th was it because of about the, that it was about religion, or I just they didn't think Well, it I don't think that at that point that was so much of a problem. Oh, funny. But then the most extraordinary thing is Eric Idle rang us all up. I'd already made arrangements to do a movie in, in, in Vienna with Peter Sellers because I thought it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. And uh, er Eric said, the, the movie's on. And we said, w why? And he said, George Harrison is putting the money up. Wow. He knew George. <laughs> yeah. He knew George. He gave George the script. And George uh, rang him up the next day and, and said, I'm putting the money up. <laughs> and Eric said, what are you talking about? He said, I'll put the money up. <laughs> That's amazing. And Eric said, why? And dear George said, I want to see the movie. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's fantastic. I know. So, I mean, you know, I think it's the best film Python ever made. Yeah. Wouldn't have been made if it wasn't for George Harrison. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. God bless us, right? Yeah. You, uh... You do a Q&A when you show this film. Oh, and, yes. uh, and And what sort of questions do people ask you? Do you like... Well, that's what I love is you don't know. You see, yeah. when you do your one-man show, you say pretty much the same as you said the previous night. Yeah. And if it's a great audience, you have a good time. And if it's a slow audience, like El Paso... <laughs> 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 You wonder at the end whether they're going to kill you. Yeah. And, uh, and, and they're very nice and they clap, so that was their way of enjoying it. Yes. I do like... It's nice to engage with people. Do you do your Q&A at the end, or...? Uh, yes, I, I do it at the end. You never know what they're going to ask. Yeah. I mean, when I was doing it with Eric a couple of years ago, one, one uh, quite young, attractive woman said to Eric, um, well, what is your favourite sexual position? <laughs> <laughs> How's he going to get out of that? Yeah. And without batting an eyelid, Eric said, oh, the male marital position, that's the man f flat on his back with his wallet wide open. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the strangest one, I mean, the one that totally broke me up, was <laughs> in, uh, it was in Florida, and uh, a lady, rather smartly dressed, middle-aged lady, but very smart, got up and said, uh, Mr. Adams, please may I ask you a serious question? So, of course, she said, did the Queen kill Diana? <laughs> 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 I, 
There were 2,000 people there, all went, <gasps> and I was the only one laughing. Yeah. You know, I just was falling. Yeah. In the end, I had time to think, and I said, well, certainly not with her bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great when you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And I love that. You also, uh, every now and then, somebody will uh, walk out of your show. Oh, yeah. And you celebrate them. Well, I think it's very brave. Yeah. You know, because um, after all, most <laughs> most Python fans aren't Trump fans. Let's face yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. There's not a lot of. You know? yeah. And uh, if I if I do a Trump joke, sometimes you can see somebody go, hmm, and they get up and they walk out of the aisle. And I said, was it the Trump joke? And sometimes they say yes, or sometimes they go. <laughs> and, and I think that's great. I say, please, a round of applause for this very, very brave person. And they get a nice round oh, of applause. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, you, might well. you just don't let that catch on, or else people are going to just start leaving just for the applause, you know? <laughs> you don't want that getting out. That's right. um, it's always such a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you. No, for me. Come, come soon. Don't stay away this long.